Hi guys, it's me Keisha here at the Enchanted Dreamcatcher. Welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel, I post videos, well I try to post videos twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday, although, although I haven't been as good lately. I do have loads of videos to put up, but I haven't done that yet. But if, but yeah, welcome to my channel. I am an eclectic witch. I'm 32. I'm this channel. I like to post about magic, spellcraft, uh, law of attraction, positivity, uh, everyday life, and yeah. So I hope you enjoy. If you like my content, then uh, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And also. Uh, hit the notifications bell as well so you get notified every time that I post and also as well if you enjoyed my video please like it as well as your likes and your comments and everything I can't even begin to explain how much they mean to me so yeah without further ado let's get into this video but before we do I just wanted to show you my new t-shirt let me get up off my squeaky creaky bed uh, I know my face is out of frame, but that doesn't matter when you see this shirt. This is supposed to be like a Halloween-y type shirt, t-shirt, but I'm going to wear it all the time. If you live in England, I got it from Tesco's. It was £8, and I don't know how well you can see it, but it actually says Mystic Witch, and it's sort of like all sparkly, and there's a witch on a broomstick, like in a sort of snow globe type thing, and there's pumpkins, and it's really soft and comfortable, and yeah, I love it. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. guys welcome back to a, another video in my sabbath celebration series so as you all know if you have been following my channel for a while that the up and coming sabbath of Samhain is my all time favorite sabbath i just love I love this time of year, I love fall, I live for fall, I swear. Like, my soul comes alive as soon as like September 1st rolls around, and even more so when it hits October. I love Samhain, I love anything Halloween-y and spooky and witchy, so yeah, this is, uh, this is witch bitch season for sure. So, yeah, so I thought it was only appropriate for me to do a, another Sabbath celebration series to do for Samhain just to prove that I am the pumpkin queen even my hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works I've had about four years the case of the orange sparkly pumpkin and I keep it by my bed as sanitizing is key especially with that corona going around so once again which I feel like I always say, but if you see me sort of looking that way, it's because I have my trusty iPad and my notes that I have written for this video. So I may actually hold it. I don't know. I might hold it like this because I feel like if I look down, I can look back up, like up, down, up, down, like real quick. But I feel like if I put it on there, it's a little bit more distracting. Or maybe I just, maybe that's just my perception. I don't know. But Anyway, enough rambling, because I ramble for England. Let's get to it. So, Samhain. As you all know, Samhain is one of the three harvest festivals. The first being Lasard or Lammas, however you say it. 
at the beginning of August. And then we have the autumnal equinox, um, which is around the 21st of September, and that's Maybon. And then the last one, obviously, on All Hallows Eve is Samhain. And uh, by uh, many witches consider Samhain to be the witch's new year. So I like to think of Samhain as the witch's new year as well. I mean, obviously, like in society, um, in most societies, uh, the January the 1st is the new year. So obviously for work and life purposes, we sort of do, I do sort of use January as the sort of uh, new year for sort of my everyday life and everything like that but sort of for my witchy craft and practice I do like to uh, think of Samhain as the uh, witch's new year and also it marks the start of the darker half of the year gone are sort of the uh, spring and summertime and the um, long light evenings now we are officially creeping into and embracing the darker half of the year the trees are shedding their leaves the light um is uh going back out of the world and not got light for so long um the earth is sort of going into hibernation and yeah so also as well I always think that I or I personally like to associate the sort of the sort of sabbats and um the harvest festivals as sort of like abundance is sort of tends to be like the key um and gratitude sort of the key themes that surround these sort of harvest festivals and Samhain is no exception um abundance and gratitude are, I feel, very much woven into the fabric of Samhain. The veil between the worlds, I'm sure that you've heard this many a times on TV, sh movies, in books. The veil between the worlds is thinnest at this point in the year. So it is a lot easier if you are wanting to uh, commune with spirit and things like that. It is a lot easier for, th for that communication to happen, for them to come to the foreground so let's uh take a look at some correspondences so with Samhain I feel like the colors that you associate with this year are obviously black and orange like pumpkins black candles cauldrons like stereotypical depiction of witches and things like that golds silvers um and white as well very much sort of colours for this time of year so if you're wanting to either decorate your home or your altar sacred space or whatever I feel like incorporating these colours in into um into your decorations is a good idea to sort of uh, connect with the spirit of the season uh, different animals that you associate this year, this time of year. One of the animals is my spirit animal, bats. Bats heavily associated this time of year. Owls, um, ravens, cats, crows, that sort of thing. Different herbs that you may want to uh, use in your spell work, your cooking, um, whatever. Dress your candles with them. Uh, make. Uh, bundles and burn them smudge with them is uh herbs like mugwort rosemary cinnamon um allspice i love allspice i love cinnamon as well just such fall oh fall herbs i love them sage nutmeg and clove and so different foods for this time of year anything pumpkin oh my god i i really love pumpkin flavored things i feel like it can be quite a um um what's the word quite a sort of uh um i don't feel i don't necessarily i feel like it can be quite a like you either like it or hate it i love pumpkin i feel it's got a very distinctive flavor i love anything pumpkin so you could make pumpkin bread pumpkin soup pumpkin cake you could uh, have some pumpkin and hot, like pumpkin spice and hot chocolate and things like that or like a pumpkin spice latte uh apples or oh, apple pies and apple crumbles and anything with apple is so good this time of year pears i love pears as well any sort of pies uh soups squashes uh 
ales, your ciders, uh, like corns and grains, anything, anything rich and hearty that um, you would associate with a harvest is uh, really good to have this time of year different goddesses that you may want deities you may want to uh cooperate or work with at this time of year freya uh morgan hecate uh demeter persephone and sidermin i never say her name right but that's always how i say it please educate me if you know a different way to say her name uh gods you've got yama and um, hades obviously and anubis so different oils and incenses that you may want to uh, burn your home or use on your spell work on your altar, things like that. Uh, patchouli, I love patchouli. That's actually my mom's favourite, um, favourite, uh, like, favourite scent. Love patchouli. Uh, sage, sandalwood and rosemary. You may also want to be looking at different types of spells and things like that that you can perform this time of year so good spells to do this time of year be anything for uh banishing protection uh honoring the dead you could work with divination past lives abundance other names that people um that Samhain can be called is obviously halloween and all hallows eve so if you are looking, if your altar is more of a seasonal altar, my altar isn't really, I've, I don't really have the space to have a seasonal altar or have an altar that I can change up with the sort of seasons with the Sabbaths and things like that. When I, um, when I get my own place, when I have more space, I feel like I will have my altar and then I will have a separate altar that I... Uh, set up and use just for the seasons and I alternate and change it as the seasons go past but yeah so some ideas if you are sort of wanting to incorporate these things in your home sacred space or whatever um any sort of gourds or pumpkins like any supermarkets anywhere or if you're lucky to know where a pumpkin patch is or live near a pumpkin patch like you could go pumpkin picking i love the little munchkin pumpkins and like little gorging it really tiny ones so you could get real ones or you can get some really cool fake ones like from uh supermarkets um like home sense uh or equivalent in america like home goods like tj maxx uh, Walmart, Target, Kroger, wherever, Dollar Tree, all that sort of stuff. So, um, candles you could get or make. You could have candles like black candles, orange candles. You could have candles in the shape of pumpkins, in the shape of witches, in the shape of bats, anything. Skulls. These don't necessarily have to be real, obviously, but if you are out and about and you find an like animal skulls or things like that but obviously one be careful when you're bringing them into your home like for health reasons that they are disinfected and things like that so obviously they could carry disease and make you ill and two as well it's also very important to, if you find animal skulls to notice your surroundings that these surroundings aren't at um that this skull hasn't been put there as part of some sort of ritual or something like that if you find a skull and it looks like it has been some part of some sort of ritual like don't disturb that ritual just leave it alone but if you find an animal skull and it doesn't look like it's been part of any one sort of ritual or anything like that then feel free to take that but also as well you can get really cool fake skulls from like everywhere this time of year different autumn flowers you could make like fall garlands uh different sort of incenses uh oils uh, divination tools like if you love to use tarot or runes or pendulums or whatever you could have that to decorate your altar different crystals mini besoms you could buy them or you could make your own mini besom um, you could make your own conjure oil uh, different bones real or fake uh, corn apples statues cauldrons i love cauldrons you could get some really cool fake cauldrons at this time of year you guessed it <laughs> my um battery not my battery my memory card was full and it's just ah so irritating i swear i need to get a memory card 
with uh, more memory so this doesn't keep happening so I don't have to go through and delete stuff and because when I transfer footage over from my camera I seem to forget to delete it as well and then I have videos I haven't put up yet so I have to go through everything and it's a whole thing but anyway I digress I will carry on so where was I oh yeah I was saying about different uh, altar ideas things that you can use to decorate your altar so we, so I think I got to sort of like cauldrons things like that I can get some really cool fake ones this time of year uh, statues of animals especially if your animal is your especially if you're like something you're caught to spirit animal something like that is uh really popular stereotypically popular this time of year sort of like with um halloween and things like that so like obviously one of my spirit animals is bats and you can find that everywhere this time of year i feel like wolves or that sort of thing crows ravens you can find decorations and things like that statues really easily this time of year so you can incorporate that into your altar so let's see think about sort of different activities that you may want to do for Samhain you could dress up in some sort of costume if that's your thing uh whether that's some you might really enjoy dressing up as like the stereotypical witch or something which is probably what I would dress up her with a conical hat and broomstick and all that fun goodness or whatever it is that you feel called to uh dress up in you could bake a pie i love pie oh bake me a pie so you could bake a pie like apple pear like pumpkin pumpkin pie is so good pecan pie anything carving a pumpkin that is one of my musts for this time of year i absolutely love carving pumpkins i'm not any good at it but i just really enjoy it and you can get stencils and all kinds of things and you know, if, if you don't want to carve it, if you don't want to make that mess, you could even paint it, do whatever. I just love, I just think that's such a really fun, uh, like, um, witchy fun thing to do this time of year. Also, you could make or decorate a besom. So if uh, you find some different, some twigs and things like that and branch, you could tie it all together and make a besom. Or if, like me, you'd prefer to decorate one, you could buy one. It could be a mini one or a big one. You could decor decorate it with uh, different ribbons. So you could, like, get like, orange and black ribbons associated this time of year. You could get some, like, pumpkin charms and bat charms and witch charms or whatever. And, uh, and some thread or twine and sort of thread that in there. You could uh, paint with, like, silver or white or black or whatever colour you want. Different sigils and symbols and things like that of your craft you could really have fun and go to town and do whatever with it but yeah if you decide to do that then please show me as that's so awesome you could connect with your ancestors at this time of year like we've said before the veil between the worlds is a thinnest at this point in the year so it is a lot easier to commune with the spirits and loved ones and things like that so you could have a dumb supper. Um, you could do, you could do anything. You uh, could set up an ancestor altar, which actually was my next thing to do. So you could set up an altar for your ancestors. So if you want me to do a video on that, then please comment and I will. Like you could set up an altar to uh, either on your ancestors or honor a loved one that has passed. With like um, you could photos um favorite their favorite uh perfume or fragrance that you associate with them uh hand um letters that they've written like their handwriting articles of clothing like you could do anything i think that is a really nice thing to do you could also use your divination tools so if you do practice any form of divination if that's tea leaf reading uh palm tree tarot runes pendulums anything you could do that make you could make some homemade apple cider i love apple cider if you're and if you're in england and watching this i'm not talking about alcoholic apple cider where it's like in england when you say apple cider people associate or people associate it with the alcoholic apple cider i'm on about sort of like real pressed nice american apple cider it's not alcoholic and it's so good um, you could collect like acorns or conkers or anything like that. 
could put them on your altar you could even uh, paint like sigils or runes onto them and use them as your rune set i think that would be really cool also if you're fortunate to live near or know where a pumpkin patch is you could go and visit a pumpkin patch and pick your pumpkins out and i think that'd be such a really fun cool like fall autumn activity to do you could also make a bonfire like if you have a backyard or whatever you could make a little bonfire you could sit around it like with your friends your coven your family whatever and you could roast some marshmallows or some chestnuts or anything and you could just sort of like i don't know you could tell each other scary stories or like talk about like your reasons for why you love this time of year like also your gratitude like things you're grateful for all that sort of stuff you could do um you could also roast pumpkin seeds i do love pumpkin seeds going on hay rides i love hay rides it's so super fun like, i don't think though really this year because of everything that's happened with uh the virus and things being shut and stuff i doubt that many hay rides will be happening but they are a super fun thing to do as well as visiting a corn maze i just love like um cornfields as well i don't know why i just get such a vibe from them but yeah you could visit a corn maze that would be really fun as well also as well you could if you have a little cauldron or anything like a fireproof dish you could um which is new year you could write out the things that you're grateful for this year the things that you want to manifest in the year that's coming and you could burn that paper and then with the ashes you could go outside and let them float up into the breeze so it is take so your wishes are taken off to the goddess or the universe and i think that's like a really 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 cool idea to do as well but yeah so i shall end that little video right there but yeah so i hope you enjoyed it and also as well i hope it's given you um some ideas of things that you can do for Samhain and also as well they don't have to be like super like really big intricate things like you can just do the littlest funnest things and just go with it and just have just have fun and just enjoy the season as i feel like I don't know especially for people like me that really love this season i feel like we wait all year for it and then it's upon us and it's gone before you know it and then you got another whole year to wait so yeah so i just just enjoy the time why it's here and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video i would love to know what you typically do for like halloween for for Samhain and like for fall and stuff like comment below or you could contact me on facebook instagram tiktok i'll put my uh tiktok will be in the description box as well and you can see a video from my tiktok of when i went into home sense and it was just filled with uh all these sort of uh halloweeny decorations and it was epic but yeah if you watch that one come back here comment and let me know yeah, so until next time, keep dreaming and stay enchanted. Mwah.